what is up today I will be clearing restricted metering devices this is some that plugs carriers here liquid line comes in it's this uh, common header and then right here in the dimple of each one of these is a metering device one per each circuit as it goes in so what they say is happening is basically the I don't know something about the oil breaking down turning into wax or something and it it starts plugging those up so uh, what a lot of people do is the technicians they don't know how to clear that out and they just replace the whole coil in fact this unit was written up to have that entire evaporator coil replaced which they didn't approve last year and it still was broken I told them I should be able to clear the metering device I've done it before so I'm gonna do that today I know some of you are probably in areas where you don't have heat pumps very much so this is a heat pump not a gas unit or a straight electric or anything so what they do is carrier and their, their infinite wisdom is they have like all sorts of tubes crisscrossing with check valves and what it is they have the liquid line coming in when it's in cooling mode goes in comes up right here hits this manifold goes through each accurator that goes to it um, there's a check valve right here oops I'm sorry where is it it's way over there yeah, okay filter dryer check valve tube comes over line comes over and comes down here in heating mode it doesn't go that way because the check valve stops it so the heating mode is going the hot gas is coming in this way which would have been suction and cooling hot gas comes in and then it all comes out this one line right here goes up this line strainer which i'll be changing check valve which i'll be changing and then goes over to a similar thing on this up here comes to a common manifold and goes through accurators that feeds the outdoor coil which at that point will be the evaporator it's a bunch of monkey shite, but that's what Carrier does. Okay, I have prepared this to uh, blow it out. The heating circuit is pinched closed. The inlet for the cooling is wide open right there. Okay, that's why I'm gonna be blowing it backwards through all the accurators, out the common manifold and out that little three tube. This line here, if you really want to isolate it, I cut it. Now they have one of those, you know, spinning swage sets. I'm not afraid to cut anything because it's just a second to put it back together. <laughs> so I have this brace shut to a, core, to a core right there. Just gonna blow it. Now watch. Here's before I heat up those ports. Just shut off the nitrogen. It's about what it sounds like now. So the next thing to do is I'm gonna take my torch and preheat each one of these. And right when I get them kind of warm, then I'll hit one at a time with the nitro. See if we get some stuff blowing out. Right there is where the accurator is. Heat them up. I guess it loosens up the wax. Kind of melts it. Sorry, see the smoke coming out that uh, 3 8 inlet. <laughs> now, I did one time, I think it was on the train, I did have one of these accurator type heaters like to show around it crack. But luckily, I was able to raise it back together. We do crimp it with a tool. I don't think there's an accurator right there. Oh, no, it's just crazy. Ready? Yeah. That's not a little more clear. I'm throttling the nitrogen. guarantee that sucker is going to work.
that's that's blowing through quite nicely. Now, so far, that's all I've done when I fixed some of these, and I simply just braze it together, you know, evacuate it, recharge it. But this is, I guess, some technicians have been working on this thing. They've already changed like the uh, filter and dryer, which of course it feels pretty gunked up. And I'm gonna run some RX11 flush through that baby. So, uh, oh yeah, this portion of the video is sponsored by RX11 Flush, made by New Calgon, makers of the Foam Bright, aka Yellow Death. So, uh, the only bad thing about using this is, you know, this might give, people just give this stuff the credit for clearing out those accurators. I'm just being thorough, but trust me, I have cleared like three of these now, maybe more just by doing that process I showed you with the heat and the nitrogen and not using any flush afterwards. By the way, on a side note, the sticker on the top of the can says, danger, never connect canister to nitrogen. Well, what does this sticker make me want to do? <laughs> a canister might make it into a future video out in the desert next time I go shooting. Now I'm going to chase it with nitrogen. Oh yeah. It's, that's what's good about cutting the lines, isolating them, and brazing in a port, and making all the flow go one direction through one path, is that you can concentrate the volume and the pressure where you need it. I guarantee Let's watch how this works. You have to really make these tight. <laughs> Take two. Just got that. So, and there you have it. A nice, deep, bell-end swaged fitting. I'll just have to bend this back up and over. I usually use my uh, flaring block to hold it. I mean, this is gonna go easy, I think, so I'm just gonna put it. Three eighths of my butter. There you go. Okay, just started it up. What kind of pressures are we running? 123 PSI suction. 310 PSI discharge. It is a little cooler today than it has been. Like maybe 80 degrees or so out. Um, yeah, the superheat is actually three degrees. Subcooling 13.9, 14. Of course, subcooling is probably a little lower than that if you were taking a liquid pressure reference instead of discharge. So it's actually pretty good. I uh, dropped the factory amount of refrigerant into it on uh, coming out, so it's 57, so 57.5. So yeah, about 21 degrees split temperature. Once again, this is pretty much a 100% success rate with clearing those plugged up meter devices. And this one was plugged up bad. As you can see, that compressor is all, you know, looks like it's been running hot past, just not anymore. That looks all good in there now. You probably won't, probably won't even know that I cut into that. No couplers were used. I swaged all the fittings back together. Looks factory.